going on guys welcome back to a brand new video in today's video we're going to go over three methods that you guys can do to make a lot of coins and the thing about these methods you don't need a lot of coins to get these methods rolling all you need is 10,000 coins that's all you need to get these methods rolling because i feel like you guys would allow a lot a lot of you guys should have a low amount of coins and you guys should need how to make some coins my personal opinion when you're doing solos head to head solo battles whatever you should always have cars on auction selling, so you always are making coins. That's my personal opinion. So we're gonna break down all the methods that I know that are very are very cheap methods. So first right. method number one we're gonna be doing is called the lazy repost method. What is the method? Like in the name sounds, we're just gonna be posting cards and making the lazy sell buyers buy our cards. So what do you need to do? One of my personal favorites is as of right now, you're gonna be filtered to 84 through 85. All Madden promo, and you're gonna just be filtering down, keep refreshing the filter, the positions, until you find one for roughly 5,000 coins. Once you get it for 5,000 coins, all you need to do is repost on the block for roughly 6,500 coins. I found that 6,500 coins is the sweet spot, and it's really effective at selling these cards. So you gonna repost it for one hour, and that's it. Nothing complicated at all. Once it sells, you should be making roughly 1,000 to 800 coins every single time it sells. You're probably saying, that does not sound like a lot of coins. It, is, it doesn't sound like a lot. Until you realize how effective these cards are at selling. Because these will sell constantly. Constantly, you're going to be noticing this. You're going to be buying these cards, posting, reposting, blah, 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 blah. That is method number one. Pretty effective method. It's not the best method, but I would say you want to maybe want to consider doing it because you're roughly in a budget. Can't afford all these expensive cards, so it's some method that you should be worth trying out. And at the end, we're going to be showing you guys the proof. Here it is. It is proof of it selling. Because it's pretty obvious these cards should sell, and that is the proof. Next method we're going to be doing, talking about. Let's go to method number two. And I'll see you guys right there. Method number two, the core team items. Now this method is very, very easy, but I only recommend doing the posting this method once you're going to school, so you're going to go to bed, you're going to work, whatever, because these cars take a while to sell. So if you're, in general, if you guys notice the uniforms, the base uniforms roughly sell for 3,000 coins, 2,500 coins, and about 2, 2k up, pretty much 2k up. So you got an idea. So how do we take advantage of that? The coaches, the uniforms, the playbooks, every core item sells for roughly 2,000 coins up, except for Dan Reed. For some reason, it's 1,000 coins. So how do we do the method? It's simple. I've talked about this method all year long. It always works. Go to 75 through 79. You're gonna filter to every team, and you're gonna roughly buy these cards for roughly 1,300 coins. So for example, oh, first one, we found one for 1,150 coins. What do we do? We buy a card, and we're gonna do a core team item. For an example, one of my favorite ones to do is the Dolphin Stadium. Why? Because that one tends to sell for roughly very expensive coins. It tends to normally sell for 4,000 to 3,000 coins. So we're gonna head over and check the price of that Dolphin Stadium. Remember, we only spent 1,000 coins to get this set done. So what is 1,000 compared to 3,000? We make it extra 2,000 coins. And we really don't have to do nothing. We just buy the card, post it for 24 hours, and it sells. So I would recommend doing the same things again. When you're gonna go to bed, buy 20 of them, post on the block. When you wake up, about 10 of them, 15 of them, you all of them should have sold by then. That is the method called the REAP, the core team item method. Very easy, very effective. You guys can make a lot of coins, and I highly recommend doing this method. If you're gonna go to bed, go to work, go to school, whatever, when you're not gonna be on for like the next couple hours, it is a method I would recommend doing. Simple, nothing complicated at all. I highly recommend it. So that's method number two. Method number three. I actually like this one a lot more because you can make a lot more coins faster compared to method number three. So what is method number three? It's a method that we've been talking all year long. The team builder method. It is not difficult at all. And it's really good now because there's no training variety packs. Therefore, these cards are up on the block. Hey, risen up. So what do you need to do? You need to buy 380 overall cards and you want to get these cards for roughly 2,000 coins down. So at the minimum, if you're getting these three cards for 2,000 coins, that's gonna get you a total of 6,000. And then you need to buy 182 through 83 for roughly, same thing, 3,000, 2,000, 3,000 coins. So at the minimum, you should be spending about 9,000 coins to get this set done. And then these cards, how much do you sell for? Some sell for roughly 14K, some sell to 20K, some sell to 35K. So it just depends on which ones you're selling, and I'll make you some coins. Show you guys proof. When I'm searching through the all Madden filter for the 82 to 83, now when I'm filtering for the 82 to 83 card, I can filter for Core Elite, all Madden, the headliners, and I believe Team of the Week, just to check which ones are up. You want to get this card for a little 3K. And like I said, what is 9,000? 
you're gonna be spending roughly 9,000 at the minimum to get this set done. And you're gonna be making roughly about 5,000 coins, 4,000 coins every single time one sells. So you do post this up really quickly, you'll be noticing that profit really fast. And that is a method number three. Not complicated at all. I mentioned in the past, these methods are not that difficult to do. You just have to have patience and be worth the grind. So for all these three methods, which is my most favorite, probably the first one because how fast you can make those coins pretty quickly. Now Team Bellator method is a very good one too. It's highly really good. It's been really good year long. I remember earlier in the year, I made like 300K in like what, five hours. Because this is, I've just focused on this. This, card was, this method was crazy. When people say you can make a million coins, say say 200K in an hour, it has to be depend on the method. But most of the methods, they don't give you that much coins in, like in an hour. Usually you should be making out 100, 200k in, a, in like a day. Yeah, but that's the method. So as you guys can see, this Cardinals one sells for roughly 14k. We're gonna put it for 14k. We're gonna put it for a day, and it should have sold. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know which, what do you think of these methods, and I'll see you guys in the next method video. Peace.